Hi, my name's Evelyn Cassidy, and I'm president of the Martin County Historical Society in Inez, Kentucky. And this uh, interview we're doing today is uh, concerning the Himmler House and the Himmlerville coal mines at, at the eastern part of Martin County. The, the Himmlerville mines started, uh, I think, in 1919, and the house was built, Mr. Himmler's house was built in 1920-21. And uh, we are in the process of raising money to uh, restore the house, hopefully by the year it's 100 years old. Why we think this is important is uh, Martin County is on the very eastern part of Kentucky in the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, we'd like to uh, focus on uh, the people that came in here and uh, started the coal mines as a co-op operation under Martin Himmler's uh, guidance. And uh, they uh, really made a good living and developed their own village. They had everything there that would the uh, community would need. They even had electricity, running water, bakery, ice cream parlors, their own school, their own post office. They had everything a village needed, and uh, they had a good life there until the floods came along in 1928. And then the depression started, and uh, coal mines kind of dropped out because they couldn't sell, sell their coal, sort of like it is today as far as coal mines. We can't uh, sell our coal either. <laughs> but uh, we'd like to restore this for the culture of the Hungarian people, for the tourism in Martin County, and make this place a beautiful place like it was when uh, Martin Himmler and the Hungarian coal miners live there. Uh, my name is Dwayne Swinney and I'm co-chair of the Martin Himmler project in uh, Martin County and uh, one of the things that you know we're wanting to do with this the house restoration is uh, bring back the Himmler heritage the Hungarian heritage um, that was you know real prevalent in the area uh, from 1921 through 28 and everybody in this area can relate to coal and hey, everybody has appreciation for coal. My name is Mandy Sweeney and I'm the chairman of the Himmler House Restoration Project for the Martin County Historical Society. And the Martin County Historical Society is committed to preserving the heritage of Martin County and part of that heritage is the Himmler House in Beauty, Kentucky. This Himmler House is in important to us because it tells a story that is unique to Martin County, a story of a man, Martin Himmler, who was a Hungarian immigrant to the United States, um, who was a visionary and worked to uh, give his fellow Hungarians a home here in the U.S. It's a story of a man who was a visionary, who worked hard to, to achieve his dream and to provide for his fellow Hungarians. Um, we believe that this is an interesting story, a story worth telling and preserving. We hope to partner with the Hungarians, and we are currently involved in a partnership with the Embassy of Hungary in Washington, D.C., and also with fellow uh, members here at the Historical Society and Martin Countyans as well. This house is more than just a house. It's more than four walls. It tells a story of a success here in the United States. Uh, growing up in Martin County, the house has been special to me because I've, I just fell in love with the house as a child and love the history behind it. I think the house will also provide an, a bright spot in Martin County's future because it'll bring tourism here. It will give uh, a place for Hungarians to be, call home because this is where their ancestors first came to achieve their American dream as well as Martin Himmler. Martin Himmler also served on the international stage as a colonel for the United States. He served in the Office of Strategic Services and was a part of intelligence that uh, interviewed um, Nazi war criminals and, and also obtained information that was vital to the United States. We believe that his part in that 
served as um, providing information to the United States. Martin Himmler provided information to the United States that was very important, as well as interrogating Nazi war criminals. And Martin Himmler, as a colonel in the United States Army, served his country and helped achieve information that was important to the United States, as well as prosecuting Nazi war criminals. Himmler House will be a museum which will first tell the story of Martin Himmler's life. It will also tell of the Hungarian immigrants to the United States and their working in the coal fields here in Appalachia. They had a unique history though here in Himmlerville, which is now Beauty, Kentucky, because this was the first co-op mining um, company here in the United States. The eyes of the world were on Himmlerville, Kentucky, as fellow Hungarians bought shares in the Himmler Coal Mining Company. They worked together and mined the coal as well as serve as board members and owners of the Martin, of the Martin Himmler Coal Company. This is a unique story. Not many coal camps in the area could say this. As a matter of fact, it was the only one who could say this. The Hungarians were proud to be a part of this and they built their homes and lived there in Himmlerville, Kentucky. The house will also serve as a museum to tell that story. It will be a story of what the Hungarians uh, achieved here in Himmlerville. A coal camp with a different history behind it. It will also tell, beside, besides their story, it also combines the story of Martin Himmler and his vision for what the Himmler Coal Company could be and also will also go into his life of being a colonel. The house will hold a library that will tell um, the house will also have a library in it which will house articles uh, to Martin Himmler's life as well as uh, different books uh, from different collections that are Hungarian. We hope that the house will serve. We know the house will be an important educational facility as well as it will be con uh, connected with different universities as well as the university there in Hungary. Once the Himmler House has been restored, it will be a national landmark here in the United States. With our partnership with the Embassy of Hungary, will be the first Hungarian national landmark here in Beauty, Kentucky. Oh, it'll, it'll be here in Beauty, Kentucky, but it will be the only national landmark that is Hungarian in the United States of America, making it once again a unique place. Himmler House will showcase the Hungarian culture. The house will have a Hungarian flair to it as well as host Hungarian festivals, Hungarian rock bands, Hungarian bands. Um, we are working with a, a band from Hungary right now, Rockajam. They are interested in performing there. We will have them there to perform here in Martin County at the Himmler House. Uh, we've had a lot of help from the people in political offices and just members of the Martin County Historical Society. And uh, some of them I'd like to mention is our uh, co-outreach co chair people is Mike Bodo Sazy, not Mike Sazy, and his wife Pat Bodo Sazy. Can you do that? And they have helped us to reach into the embassy in Washington. They went there for the the revolution celebration this past fall, and they spoke to a lot of people there on our behalf and uh, on uh, restoring this building and uh, this community to what it used to be. And uh, they've been very important members and workers on this project. And uh, representative, state representative Chris Harris has shown an interest. Hal Rogers has been contacted. 
Congressman Hal Rogers. Representative Steve Riggs has written letters to the embassy and, and is helping Pat down around the Louisville area. And uh, Senator Ray Jones, he's shown an interest in, through Pat and Mike Sazy. And uh, Tom and Kathy Corbin, who have worked diligently on this uh, uh, Mr. Himmler's autobiography, which will be titled Making of an American. And he titled it himself when he wrote the book. And uh, Mark White, restoration uh, contractor from Pike County, he was, he's willing to do the rest restoration of the house, and he's very interested in restoring this. And uh, we've also got a group, local group, that wrote a song about the Himmlerville called Welcome to Himmlerville. They recorded it. They wrote the song and recorded it, and I'll give you a copy for, before you leave. And it, their, their name is uh, Creekside Singers, Creekside Country Singers. And I just wanted to make a make a point that our our plan, our project, our vision, our dream for this uh, area is to restore this part of Martin County's history for future generations so when they come by they can look back at what uh, their foreparents had accomplished and achieved in this uh, Appalachian Mountains where it takes work and love and a lot of uh, vision to really carve out a living here and they had a beautiful beautiful community there and uh, we've got pictures showing the, what the houses look like but they were self-contained only thing they needed to buy was like sugar and coffee stuff like that and that and mr himmler did uh, get the train the bridge made across tug river uh, he uh, partnered with uh, n and w i believe it was n and w and they built a bridge across Tug River and built the shortest railroad track that we know of at that time, which was less than a mile from the river to uh, Beaut with to Hamlerville, which is now called Beauty. And they uh, got their few things they needed, supplies for food, plus all the mining supplies on this train. And the train was really, the railroad track was really built to get the coal out. It was faster and cheaper than uh, tugging it on the river, on Tug River. So uh, this is our plan to bring this back and uh, make the people of, of the Hungarian uh, culture and the Appalachian culture and Martin County proud of this area. We've had so much negative stuff that we really, really want to show them that we can, uh, we can uh, really have something to be proud of. The Martin County Historical Society, in partnership with the Embassy of Hungary, is working to restore and preserve the Martin Himmler home in Beauty, Kentucky. The home is much more than brick and mortar. It is a symbol of our past and a glimpse into our future. Martin Himmler was a Hungarian immigrant who settled in Martin County in the early 1900s. He called his quest to build a new life in America the impossible dream. His dreams were realized by embracing his heritage and interconnecting that the values with the values of Appalachia, faith, family, and culture. Himmler's life was as broad as the landscape of eastern Kentucky. He was a miner, a businessman, and served his country during World War II. Himmler was behind the sprawling coal camp of Himmlerville, which is now Beauty, Kentucky, and was built as a co-op for Hungarian immigrants to work for the Himmler Coal Company. It, the camp was the first of its kind in the region to have electricity and running water. Himmler valued work, and he was a man generations ahead of his time. His approach to Himmlerville was to be a beacon of hope that celebrated the virtues of hard work, faith, and family. The restoration and preservation of the Himmler House could not come at a better time for Eastern Kentucky. As the region looks to reinvent as the region looks to reinvent and bring new economic opportunities to the area, we are quickly realizing that our future, the revitalization of our area, must come from within. We have also learned that to create a bright future, we must embrace sound virtues of the past. The Himmler House restoration will house a Hungarian book and archive collection, as well as serve as a museum honoring the heritage of Hungarian immigrants in fueling the economy of the region, as well as the United States Industrial Revolution. 
With the support of the Hungarian government and its embassy, the home once complete will be a Hungarian national landmark in the United States, the first and only of its kind. Beyond the benefits of cultural and heritage preservation, the Himmler House will further complement tourism efforts across eastern Kentucky and southern West Virginia. The restoration and preservation of this home will be the beginning of a concentrated effort to restore and preserve coal camp homes in this community, as well as help spearhead efforts to showcase our most valuable natural resource, our people. The restoration project will be restoring the home of Mr. Himmler, who immigrated from Hungary in 1908 and started the very first co-op mining company in the U.S. located right here in Martin County. He was a visionary and a patriot with heart. He came to America to achieve what he once held impossible to do in Hungary. Himmler's life was as broad as the landscape of eastern Kentucky. He was a coal miner, a journalist, and a businessman. In World War II, he went on to serve as a colonel in the Office of Strategic Services for the United States of America. He was responsible for locating and apprehending more than 300 Hungarian Nazi war criminals and interrogating 40 of the most vicious criminals there in the war. We believe this home to be more than a series of walls. It is a symbol of our past and a glimpse into our future. As Eastern Kentucky looks to reinvent and bring new economic opportunities to the area, we are looking to start embracing our past. This house will serve as a museum, event venue, and library. We are working to achieve national landmark status for the house as well. And once this is completed, it will be the only national landmark that is Hungarian here in the United States. We want to preserve the Appalachian coal story that is about Hungarians who worked and lived here. They, they were proud to live here in Kentucky and also proud to call themselves Americans. We will see this home as theirs as well. It will showcase Hungarian culture and tell the story of the miners here in Appalachia who were from a different country. Himmler House sits on a hill in Beauty, Kentucky, overlooking Route 40 and Buck Creek Road. The waters of the Buck Creek flow down in front of the hill in the area that once was known as Himmlerville. This was a coal camp established by Martin Himmler, and he built his house to overlook the bustling community. Mr. Himmler was a Hungarian immigrant who brought his vision of a new and innovative coal company to the rich coal-laden hills of eastern Kentucky. Himmler Coal Company was established and was modeled to have divided shares that were sold and held by an exclusive group of people, this group being Hungarian immigrants, who in addition to holding Himmler Coal Company shares, also held American citizenship. Business was booming for the coal company and Himmler House looked down on a self-sustaining, proud coal community. As Martin Himmler held an important role in the company and community, so did this house. Himmler House hosted feasts, dinners, and weddings as well, accommodating several dignitaries from local, distant, and abroad. It was a house built by Hungarians for a man with a vision for his fellow countrymen. These were a people who loved America, and they were owners of their own destiny and were not afraid of hard work to make it so. This house is where great hospitality once was practiced in a Hungarian manner, and it is with high hopes that we see this house do the same thing again. The Martin County Historical Society envisions the restored home to be a center for the Hungarian immigrant culture and coal mining history. The Martin County Historical Society will gain national landmark designation for the Himmler home, and we believe that the restoration and preservation of the historic sites here at Himmlerville, Beauty, Kentucky, will bring tourism, entrepreneurial opportunities, and, econ and economic growth to Martin County and surrounding counties. As the Martin County Historical Society works to save the Himmler House, we need your help. We are asking for people to send in donations. You can send these donations to the Martin County Historical and Genealogical Society at Post Office Box 501, Inez, Kentucky 41224, or donate 
on the Himmler House's website at www.himmlerhouse.org. Um, you may visit us on Facebook, too, at Save the Himmler House. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 606-534-7179. We thank you very much for your support.